So sorry, guys. I think I was muted. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for getting back on. So basically, um, what were we up to? Don't not airing your dirty laundry. Well, we all know what that means. And, um, you know, something that's really important, I think, because there's nothing worse than seeing that on Facebook. And to be quite honest with you, um, you know, I'll see that occasionally from people and I'll just feel like unfriending people because it's just grade five stuff. You know, my best friend did this and I can't believe she'd stab me in the back and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So don't do that on Facebook. Um, a big one is liking and commenting on your team members posts and they them doing the same for you. So if you have, um, you know, a team Facebook group or a Facebook chat, um, you know, pop it in there and just say, look, everybody, let's really um, comment and on each other's posts and really get our profiles out there. Let's really support each other. So if you've got a, if you like a post, that's great. But if you comment, Facebook loves that. And that will actually get that post in front of more people. And then people come around to you and, you know, you might just see a random person in the street or you might get a random message from somebody saying, you know, I've been watching what you're doing. Um, your posts have been coming up on my Facebook page and I really like what I see. Can you tell me more about what you do? Um, and those comments will, those comments will get um, your posts in front of people. There, You want to be visible. You want to be a leader. And even if you don't feel like you're a leader, pretend. <laughs> But really be authentic and, and show yourself. And, you know, if you're, if you're not confident enough to do that, that's fine. All you have to do is say, look, I haven't been doing this for very long or, um, you know, my, my upline can tell you more about that in a better way. But you, you really need to look at branding yourself, not your business, okay? Um, consider a fan page and connect it to your personal profile. So by that, um, I mean, you know, you've got your personal profile, which is probably your name, and a fan page could be, and mine, mine is Amberly Redefine Your Life. Um, so you could have a little tagline. You could have, um, you know, Amberly Changing Lives or Amberly Entrepreneur, you know, something as simple as that. You don't need to get too creative. Um, and connect it to your personal profile and... I can show you what that means um, in another session if you're not sure. Um, and then you need to you need to really not have um, anything company specific. So even on your personal page, if you've got works at Jeunesse Global or Sapphire or Pearl or Jade with um, Jeunesse Global, take that off. Um, you really want people to be curious about what you do. So you don't want to give everything away um, by them having one click on your profile. Working at JFI International would be great. Um, our JFI brand is really getting out there. I don't know um, how many of you were on a call the other night with Aaron, but he was saying that he now gets leaders from other countries saying, look, mate, I'd love to join you, but only if you're in JFI, you know, only if you're part of JFI. So that brand is really getting out there and that's really exciting because we're all part of that. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of different profiles here. So who are you going to join? You know, this person over here is obviously part of a fantastic company, but she's got a picture here with not even her in it and half of her child's head cut off. Um, she's got a picture of her here, but it's so company branded, it's scary, right? She said down in here that she's self-employed and loving it, and that's brilliant, but she's got independent, unique presenter. Um, and, you know, the first thing that I see when I see this is, oh, my gosh, what's she going to try and sell me? And that's only added to by the fact that the first post you see is about product. Okay, so who wants to get my hand on the mask, their hands on the mask? So this is what you don't want to do. Miss Gorgeous Miss Angela Lacenti over here. Um, is exactly what you want to do. You know, she's got some attraction marketing going on. She's got some um, a brilliant team photo here, a uh, professional photo, and you don't have to get those done. Um, you know, they're wonderful, but you don't have to. She's co-founder at J Fire International. 
Now, most people seeing that won't know what that is. You know, if you if you Google that, you might get some things come up. But um, you know, if she had works at Jeunesse Global, then she's just giving it away straight away. And over here, she's got she's got some more attraction marketing in her post. So she's looking back at you know all the travel that she's done, um, creating memories that last a lifetime and. I don't know anybody that um, wouldn't be attracted to that. So a couple more. I had to put myself on here. Why not? I had to show you that I'm doing what I'm preaching. So over here we've got somebody who's got pictures of a tree and a flower. So you don't even know if this is a real person, if it's a girl or a guy, what they look like, what they do. Okay. So, um, you know, I've blacked out the names here, but yeah. And, and I can tell you that this woman is in a direct sales company, okay? So, you know, looking at that, I wouldn't actually accept a friend request from that um, because there are so many scams going on out there and so many fake profiles that I would think that was one of them. Um, and mine, I've got a team photo um, with the award that I won last year um, for South Australia. Um, my introduction or my about section is lifestyle entrepreneur helping people create a profitable home business live life your way uh, i have my network marketing mums page linked and i have my branding page links so amber lee redefine your life okay so that's linked there people can click on that and then see if i'm adding value to their life so i've got some travel photos here family photos and I'm offering some value here with some Eric Worry inspirations. So just really today work on your personal profile, have a look what you've got there and, um, you know, change things around a little bit. It can make a massive difference to people wanting to um, accept your friend requests and open a conversation with you. So what do you post? Well, 80% of your post needs to be value. So inspirational quotes, we all love those. You know, I've got one as my um, home picture on my, on my laptop and every time I see it, I think, yes, you know, I need to step things up a little bit. So they can actually be really, really motivational for people. Uh, life experiences, um, and that can include um, your company trips and that sort of thing you know, without mentioning too much specifics about the company. Images, funny pictures. Funny pictures are great. Um, videos of yourself, if you're willing to do that, always fantastic. Um, adding value there and blogs. And if you don't blog yourself, do a third-party blog. You know, Jessica Higdon, Eric Worry, Ray Higdon. There are so many out there. Um, Aaron used to do a blog. I think he's kind of given up on that at the moment, but that would be a good one to share as well. And 10 to 20%, and I would say more, 10% needs to be pitch. So, um, you know, we're having a meeting on Wednesday night. Love you to come along and hear about more about what I do or hear more about how you can make some extra income or reach your um, time freedom goals, whatever you like. Um, online team calls with a photo. So that photo that I will post up today, feel free to save that to your computer and post it on your personal walls and just say, you know, awesome team meeting this morning, um, up bright and early to, um, you know, network with a great bunch of entrepreneurs. Something really similar like that. Um, photos of you with the team, which is more lifestyle photos if you're at a live event, which raises curiosity. Webinar links. Um, I, I would take it easy with those, but definitely every now and again. And why should they click your link? What's in it for them? So if you're um, sharing a blog or you're sharing a video from somebody else um, or you're sharing even your webinar link, you need to say why you're sharing it. So don't just post it because not one single person is going to click on that link. You need to say this is what this link can do for you if you open it. You need to be able to tell people what's in it for them, all right? So congratulations, everyone. You are making a commitment to your life, your business, and your future by being on these calls. I hope to see each and every one of you tonight and um, on every other call throughout the week. If you can't make it, if you've got a genuine reason for not making it, don't stress. I'll try my best to record these and um, 
post them up on um, our group page. So I'm going to see you on the call tonight. Um, and hopefully there's a lot of you who have found something to tweak in your personal profile. Um, if you have, I'd love for you to take a before and after shot and send it to me and um, I'd love to share it tonight on our call just to show people what you've done. Um, and if you'd like me to do a personal social, social media assessment on your profile for you, just let me know. I'm more than happy to do that for you. Go out there and be awesome. I know that you're awesome. We're all awesome. <laughs> um, but just go out and have an, an absolutely amazing day. Get your challenges done. Get your daily challenges done. And um, I will see you all tonight. And it's not too late. Um, we should want to wake up on different side of the bloody bed. I just want to say goodbye. I hope you got something out of that this morning. And Thanks, Amber. Thank you, Thank you guys. Have a great Thank day. Have a good day. Good night. I'll send you a post, Emma. I'll send yeah. you a message. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.